Bed Boot with Abduction Bar. This is the bed boot with fleece lining. You can see the two closure flaps clearly, one for the calf and one for the foot. These simple closures secure the boot to your patient quickly without bothersome extra straps. The curve at the heel is displayed. This is the heel float area. As the boot is turned to expose the bottom of the boot, the toe post is shown. It is reversed to conserve shipping space. The toe post must be adjusted for proper application. Simply unscrew the nut on the bottom, disengage the toe post, and reverse it. You adjust the length to fit the patient's foot or keep bedding material off the patient by moving it forward or backward along the slot in the toe post. You can turn it to the side to keep bedding off of the toes. Finally, reattach the round nut to secure the toe post in the desired position. Application. Now we see the boot ready for fitting. This is the anti-rotation bar that locks into place 90 degrees on either side to keep hip rotation under control. When not in use, it snaps back up and out of the way. Note how all plastic is completely covered, protecting your patient. To apply the boot, open the upper and lower liners and get the foot in place. It's best if the patient is supine or lying down for proper fitting. Close the bottom flap and then the top flap, being conscious of the pressure applied to the skin and the location of the heel. Once both closures are applied, go back and adjust for fit. Use your finger to test for tightness. Open and reapply the closure if you find it too tight. Again, now you can also adjust the toe post to match the toe position or to keep bedding off the toes. You can just loosen the big round nut and move the toe post to the desired position and re-tighten. Now you have a properly applied leader bed boot and you can see how the heel floats relieving pressure to the heel. This is the boot without an ambulation pad, but you can get it with an ambulation pad as well. Here's another good view of the heel window and the heel flotation. Abduction bar application. To control hip rotation, an abduction bar can be installed in place of the anti-rotation bar. Pull up the back flap and undo the nut and remove the anti-rotation bar. Apply the abduction bar which connects the two boots together, locking them to prevent rotation. This bilateral application locks the hips in place and keeps the feet from turning. You can get a better idea as we rotated the boots, how the bar is applied and how it locks the boots, preventing rotation. Looking from the bottom of the boot, you can see both toe posts and the abduction bar, which would be flat on the bed. No rotation can take place. The leader bed boot with bilateral abduction bar in place.